Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again for your afternoon video blog for July 3rd, 2014, Thursday. It's around 5 p.m. in Bellwrecka, Massachusetts. The skies are threatening. Going to be a lot of thunder showers and boomers and lightning and heavy downpour so stay cover these showers and thunderstorms are not associated with the hurricane Arthur at all it's just pop-up showers because of the heat and humidity and we're going to get a lot of downpours tomorrow heavy rain a lot of fourth of July festivities have been canceled including the one in Dark in Massachusetts the affordable fourth of July celebration at Bellica Center run by the Bell Elka Lions Club, which was a, you could have bought a hot dog, a drink, and an American flag for one dollar, but that's gone because of the impending effects of Hurricane Arthur. Anyway, there's not too much n news to report today, so I'm going to go on my video blog, and this video blog is about a, it's about a classic television sh sitcom that it never goes out of style and it's never out of circulation since it's been since it started in 1969 I'm talking about the Brady Bunch the Brady Bunch was a classic TV sitcom that ran from 1969 through 1974 on ABC and it's about like a widower Mike Brady and his three sons Greg Peter and Bobby and about a lady who Carol Martin and her three who's a widower as well and her three daughters Marsha Jan and Cindy and they get together and they marry Mike marries Carol and they become one big Brady Bunch and it's, it's one of the biggest classic sitcoms of all time family sitcoms it never reached the top 20 show but it was consistently related in between 25 and 30 for network shows back in the 70s and a lot of the funny stuff with like all the funny stuff that the Brady Bunch did and all of the memorable episodes like when they went camping, when they went to the Grand Canyon, when they went to Hawaii, when they went to the amusement park and so many others. I've seen the show so many times and it's classic. I've at least seen like all 117 episodes at least 20 25 times the ma main character the main stars of the show was Mike B Brady was played by Robert Reed Carol Brady was played by Florence Henderson their housekeeper Alice was played by Ann B Davis and Marsha Brady was played by Maureen McCormick Jan Brady was played by Eve Plum Susan I mean Cindy Brady was played by Susan Olsen Greg Brady was played by Barry Williams Peter Brady was played by Christopher Knight and Bobby Brady was played by Mike Luke Lan and these were all classic moments and stuff and you these characters were some of the best in television history the Brady Bunch ended in 1974 because the opposition uh, what they were facing was a hit tele what was Sanford and Son on NBC and they crushed the ratings and to, to try to get the audience back they had Cousin Oliver for the final few episodes but it didn't work and the last episode of the Brady Bunch was when Bob B became a sales tried to become a salesman and he tried to sell Greg hair tonic and he 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 sold him a hair tonic and Greg's hair became orange and it was so, so funny and you know it was very funny but like the main star of the show Robert Breed thought it was not was ridiculous so he he sat out the last show if the Brady Bunch became was renewed for a sixth season the producers of the show Sherwood Schultz was gonna either kill him off or they were gonna have like Carol's long-lost husband presumably dead come back but that, that that never came to be because Paramount Television canceled the Brady Bunch but the Brady Bunch lives on and they had so many sequels to the show like in 1976 a variety hour produced by Sid and Marth, Marty Crawford which only lasted six seven weeks and in 1981 they had a television series 
the Brady Brides where Marsha gets married and Jan gets married and it's a sitcom about their married lives and they share the house together and then in 1988 a television movie on CBS was a very Brady Christmas. It was the highest rated television movie of the year and when they repeated it in 1989 it was it was the highest rated television movie again of the season and then the producers of decided to bring back the Brady Bunch with a dramedy called The Brady's on Friday nights on CBS at 8 o'clock but it only lasted six weeks because it got crushed in the ratings by Full House and a lot of the stars wanted it to be on at 9 or 10 but they CBS still ran Dallas and Knott's Landing and they weren't gonna put them on hiatus or like show them at an early hour because they knew those shows would get crushed by Full House and that was the last Brady series ever but they had movies versions of the Brady Bunch in 1995 a Brady Bunch movie which was a big hit and then the next year 1996 a very Brady sequel which flopped and then they had a made for TV movie in 2002 on Fox called The Brady Bunch Goes to the White House but that tanked in the ratings and it hasn't been a, like a Brady Bunch project since but you know the we want to live on in me TV TV land and other television networks it's one series that never ever goes out of style and a lot of people love it to this day and I have all five seasons of the Brady Bunch on DVD and stuff like that I could some of the famous quotes is Masha 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 and stuff like that it will never go out of style folks and I would I'll be back later for the third and final blog, and it's about a personality, and I'll give you a hint. His famous quote is, oh my! See you later, Facebook friends, in three hours.